this. All right. So we got this cell booster. It's just a knockoff. We didn't go with uh, WeBoost because we didn't really want to pay like 600 bucks for a brand name. So this is a Verizon booster. We use Visible, which is basically Verizon. And uh, Tasha's excited because hopefully now she will not have any more service woes. Yeah. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. The van just acts like a huge blocked signal, so, you know, you get in the van and I mean, you're in a tin can, <laughs> literally, and, and yeah, so that'll fix our problems. Now I'm just putting off doing it because I'm lazy. I'm lazy today. We did actually get some work done today, you guys. No, we didn't. I did. I'm just kidding. I did too. I rode the e-bike like 20 miles today to go pick up bolts from the hardware store. So the first thing I'm going to mount is this external antenna. And I'm gonna mount this on do it yourself rack we've got. And I have to build some holes. I'm just going to hold this here and kind of start to drill the holes on this side. Just to make a mark on the metal. And then I'll go ahead and drill them. And then bolt this sucker together. So to begin with, I'm going to try putting the inside antenna in the corner of this little cabinet we have. Now you want it to be at least 18 inches away from the booster, so that should be good. I'm going to have to zip tie all this extra cable up. And then I'm going to run the outside coax cable that goes to the antenna we just mounted in the first place behind this weather seal. And then come up and I'm hoping it doesn't leak. I'm going to have to check on it every so often. It made more sense for me to do this before. All right. And we're almost done, guys. I have just got to hook that up on the other side, zip tie some slack, and then hook the power up. Oh, I actually already hooked it up on this side, so I'm just going to pull the slack down. I've got both antennas hooked up, the slack taken out, and the cable ran behind the door seal. If you look close right here, you can see the cable comes up, and there's actually like this little indention in the side of the weather seal. It's really hard to see, but I have that cable hooked in there. And I look at where the spot is, just to make sure I'm still getting the seal. There's still a good seal, so it should work out fine. And that's how to install a cell booster. Thanks so much for watching. If you got value from this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one.